Hello YouTube, Tim here with another bow. Let's test out the very, very short Youth Sapahi bow, the new model of Youth Sapahi that I'm producing. I very much like it. The pipe was 41 inches tip to tip. The knocks take about a half inch off each side, so it's a 40 inch long bow, knock to knock. Very short, draws substantially as you saw in the draw test, which I should link to right now. One of the corners, maybe here, there, there. Take a look. And let's see how it performs with some of these carbon arrows. And if things go well, we'll dig out one of the other arrows too. These carbon arrows are 440 to 445 grains on the light side. Here we go. Too low. Shot number two, 137.5 feet per second. I like that. Let's work with another one. Hundred and thirty eight point eight feet per second. You heard that one strike the cardboard. One hundred and forty three point five feet per second. I'm making every effort now to draw and release in one smooth motion. Final shot. Error, of course. Let's go grab them and try the final shot. Very good. So far, so good. So far, so awesome. Final shot with the carbon arrows. Ready. Oh, that can't be right. Indicating 41.3 feet per second, that's unreasonable. So let's try it once more. At 100 feet per second, and that's probably pretty close. Again, at 100 feet per second, and that might be right, but, but I'm not buying 44 feet per second. That is too light. One more try. Otherwise, we still do have three, three results. 140.7. Excellent. So this bow, this little tiny bow, which it draws stoutly. It performs better than the U3 curve, the, not U3 curve, but the children's bow that I made, which shoots about 130 feet per second with the similar arrows, the same arrows. That suggests that this is indeed more powerful. That's great. I mean, it, it should perform better with heavier arrows as well. Let's give it a, a shot or two with the bamboo, just to see. This is a 700 and, I believe, 68 grain arrow. The other bow shot approximately 110 feet per second with it. So this I'd expect to shoot 115, 112, 115. 29. That ain't right. Now this, of course, ignores all issues of spine, which we know is very important. These arrows are all dramatically overspined for this kind of a bow. This is just a horrible idea, really. Shooting these arrows this stiffly spined out of a bow this weak. I would really be aiming for arrows spined for a conventional bow of about 30 pounds. One more try. 102. Okay. That wasn't quite as good a draw. But still, it's data. We have it. And this bow does appear to perform a little bit better than the other, the youth 
children's recurve bow. I'm very impressed. For such a tiny, short bow, it really does have some snap to it. It's very fun. I love the way it looks. I love the way it draws. It's beautiful. So thanks for watching, YouTube. I hope you get a kick out of this.